moms. So excited to talk to you. Um, then again, I'm excited to talk to anyone because it's April 2020, so there's a bit of a quarantine, bit of a pandemic going on, but it's gonna be okay. Lately, I've been working with some moms because despite the quarantine, you know, thank God for Skype and Zoom, and I use Facebook Messenger, but what's so interesting is that I am getting the same type of call lately and the same type of question, and it all has to do with being ill-equipped to help our children with their ADHD. And let me tell you, there is no coincidence that this is coming during this time when we are all home with our children and we have them basically under a magnifying glass. And you need to be careful when you're looking at your children under a magnifying glass because you gotta realize the lens that you're using, right? If your expectation is that they should be behaving at a 10 and, and you know you see them behaving as a normal child with ADHD, you're gonna be upset. So you need to set your expectations ahead of time. And let me say this, I don't just have children with ADHD, I have some neurotypical kids, and guess what? They're kinds of pains in the necks right now too, all right? We're all stuck in the house. Back to the question of wondering or not, wondering if you are equipped or not, yes, yes you are. You are their mom, you are absolutely equipped, and all you need is the willingness. And you have it because if you're watching a video like this, then I know that you are interested and willing to learn on how to decrease the inflammation in your child's ADHD brain. It's not that it is hard to do, it's just a concept to learn. And so I have a lot of information on my website, uh, livewithjoynow.com, but to give it to you in a nutshell and to stay real tight with that question of whether or not you are equipped and to remind you of the answer, that is yes. Sometimes what makes us feel that we are ill-equipped is because we don't see enough evidence right now. And you have to understand that evidence of future success is not always seen today. Sometimes you are going to, as a mother, just keep giving your child this information. Like for instance, if you're just finding me now and others like me now and your child is 14 or 15 years old and you think you've missed the boat because forget it, you'll never control their eating and they're already at a cafeteria situation at school and they go to friends' houses and whatnot and you're gonna say like, they're never gonna be okay, they're gonna go off to college, they're not gonna listen to you. Here's the gig, it's just that they may not change their eating right now, but that doesn't mean you don't tell them that they should. Why? Because what we do as parents is we are providing our children tools to live a better life. So we need to add tools to their toolbox that they are not gonna get if they don't get them from us. We are going to share with them all that we know about how food matters. We're gonna share with them when they're feeling very anxious because children with ADHD have a lot of anxiety, especially when they are off diet. And children with ADD will have highs and lows. Often, you switch their diet, those highs and lows completely will mellow out. There's just so many behaviors that can be healed by changing their diet and by adding supplements. And so what you wanna do is at least just communicate it. Just tell them, hey, just talk to them. For instance, in your own life, maybe you've removed like gluten and dairy and preservatives or refined sugars or dyes, etc. And really, you will see the difference. Maybe you take out caffeine for a couple of weeks or even four days, you will see a difference. But you speak about this to your children. When you give them their dinner, maybe you give them simple grilled chicken and brown rice and green beans and you say, yeah, we're having this. We're not gonna have mac and cheese or the pizza or the chicken nuggets because actually I'm learning that that stuff is so hard to digest that it actually adds inflammation to your brain. It makes your brain on fire, which is what you're feeling right now. You just wanna speak these things to your kids and you'll think that the, the stuff is going in one ear and out the other, but I promise you it's not. And if you have older children, maybe you have a child who's out on their own now, you know, it's so funny because you think back, I think back to all the years I would tell one of my daughters, like, make your bed, um, clean up the food and the plates that are like laying around your room, like stop being a pig, pick up your clothing, this, that, and the other thing. And then you go and you visit them and it's they say to you, mom, you didn't wash your dish. Mom, put away that those glasses. Oh, mom, please don't put up the um, the heat because it costs a lot of money to heat that, uh, the apartment. You know, so listen, they do eventually care. They really do. Or you might have a child where you know, you're constantly saying to them, hey, be nice to your brother. Hey, stop wrestling this one. Be more considerate. Hold the door open for those people. All this stuff. And then, you know, fast forward, you, you realize that that child was involved in a situation where there was a girl being bullied at school and like, five guys were being really horrible and your child is the one that stood up for them. And, and you're like, oh my God, something got in. So moms, it's always getting in. Just because you don't see the evidence of some like awesome young man or young girl today, 
Um, it doesn't mean you, you quit. You know, like you know, that food matters, especially when it comes to ADHD. Food and supplements really do matter, and it really makes a difference. And I am not a cook, and I am not a baker, and I was the girl that was eating fast food all the time. So for me to even be telling someone else like that I know, like I know, like I know, when you clean up and you lighten the load, that all of a sudden the existing toxins that are all in all their cells start to eliminate from their body and the inflammation starts to de decrease and then their brain's not on fire anymore and you have a different child. You have a child who can now like not look at you with maniacal eyes. You have a child who is not only happy when they're stuck inside a video game. Like you just stay with it. And again, if they don't seem to be listening today, it doesn't mean you stop talking about it. And it also doesn't mean that you still add the, to the cabinets, the Pop-Tarts and the granola bars and the processed food and the garbage, okay? Because if they're gonna still eat it, that's fine, but let them get it somewhere else. Let the house be the safe place. And you don't have to go crazy. You don't have to start learning all new ways of cooking. I mean, this stuff is all over the internet. You can go to my website, livewithjoynow.com, and you can see, bunches of ideas if you go to my yes foods if you really are good with cooking or you want some ideas go to nourishingmeals.com that's done by a mom who's like a fantastic cook and she cooks with all real food what i do is i go to her website and i look up something and then i end up tweaking it because i don't have half the ingredients that she apparently has just like at her fingertips um and i make something and it becomes one of our staples because again moms it really isn't that hard if you look at what your kids are currently eating i guarantee you it's like you know, 10 things. Seriously, it's probably 10 things. They're really not having that varied of a diet and you can totally swap stuff out to get the same idea of what they're already eating. But you're equipped, you're equipped, you're equipped. You're gonna just keep talking about this. And when your child might be 20, 22, 23, when all of a sudden they realize like, wow, they really need to feel better. Maybe their pharmaceutical meds just really are making them feel robotic or causing more anxiety. And you get to be that voice that's been in them going, wait, there might be another way to doing this. Maybe I should look into being one of those like healthy green granola, raw veggie eaters that always seem to be so happy and peaceful and zen and have a rosy glow to their cheeks. Maybe there's something to be said for that, right? We just want to be the voice in their head. We want to be that tool in their toolbox that someday when they feel like picking up that hammer, it's there. So you got this moms, you're totally equipped. Do not give up and just look forward. You're doing a good job.